Hey everyone, so I'm in Marrakesh. Uh, we just finished teaching an art to life workshop and I'm in the marketplace um, in the soup. And it's just extraordinary. All the colors, I mean, the smells, the, the, the uh, incredible herbs and spices and, and fabrics and <laughs> baskets and carpets and leather stuff. And it's just such an overload and it's so stimulating. One of the challenges of this place <laughs> is choosing what you want to put your attention into because there's so much. And of course, anything you look at for more than a minute, the shopkeeper comes running out and wants to help you purchase it. So you have to kind of stay at a distance <laughs> and kind of don't, don't let anyone see what you're looking at for too long. But it reminds me of art making because we were talking a lot about this in the workshop that you get so much stuff going on. You get so many things happening and you have to choose. You have to kind of keep from a distance and not, not, uh, not fall in love with all of it and choose what it is that you really want to show and then adjust accordingly. So I just couldn't help thinking of that as I'm in this amazing place. Oh my God, look at these chickens. This guy's carrying these chickens. There we go. Chicken. Yep. Yeah, those are chickens. Um, and, uh, you know, you just keep seeing things that just knock your socks off, frankly. Anyway, this is such an incredible place. If you've, if you've ever, and there's cats everywhere. There's just these really sweet cats. Um, the same somehow seem to survive. Anyway, um, let me know, uh, let me know how you, uh, how, how you choose, you know, what it is in your work that, that you choose and how you go out in the world and see all the things and then pull that in and take that juice and that energy and then convert it into something that you want to share and that you want to make. I'm interviewing Magdalena Sagai Cerda, who I've known for about 10 years and who's been uh, kind of a body worker, but also kind of a spiritual advisor, uh, wise sage, a person who can help, has helped me and many of the people who come to my workshops um, gain clarity about what, what it is, uh, what it is their souls are um, speaking about and sort of more of the interior world help you clarify things for yourself. It's an amazing interview and and she's extraordinary. One of the things Magdalena talks a lot about is this idea that opening yourself up to new things, new ways of thinking, which by the way, occurs when you are in new places and you're willing to go out into the world and experience new people, new things, and that your, your awareness expands and your consciousness grows. And, and this is, kind of like intuition that it's a new it's a new voice it's a new it's a new part of yourself that sometimes you can listen to when you're tired when you're you know thinking too hard you kind of tend to end up in the same place which i think is a really great way to describe it you know and and it, you end up going to the same places if you just rely on what you normally rely on. If you try and think your way through things, if you just do things of what has been expected and what everyone tells you to do. But there's this voice inside you, this intuition that allows you to um, possibly feel into something different. And it's there, that is in where the growth is. And it's a great conversation. So join me for that, it's coming out on Wednesday. And um, I hope you have a, a really awesome Sunday and I will talk to you real soon. Okay, thanks so much. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share and inspire you with every single week. So join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, let's do this, awesome.